So guys, this is Ray, and today we'll be talking about the 2008 Japanese horror, comedy, blood splatter movie, The Machine Girl, directed by Iguchi Noboru and starring Yashiro Minase and Asami. Before we dive into this review, if you guys are new to Ega Man Ray, I upload reviews and discussions of Japanese movies every chance that I get. So if you're new to the channel and you dig the content, you can support this channel by checking out other videos which I've uploaded and also by subscribing. So on to the review, The Machine Girl. It was, it's probably the very first... My, my very first foray into the world of Iguchi Noboru. And also the kinds of uh, blood splatter comedy, horror comedies that come out from that, that same circle of directors. And I gotta say, I absolutely love this movie. When it comes to this kind of subgenre of Japanese horror, this is definitely in my top. It's a classic, if you're a fan, of uh, this style of horror, then uh, you probably either have already watched it or you need to watch it. But the story of The Machine Girl, it's about this girl, Ami, who's played by Yashiro Minase. And she's a high school girl. And her world is torn apart when her brother and his friend are murdered by bullies who are also associated with this family of ninja yakuzas. And when she tries to get revenge, she pays the ultimate price uh, in the form of her arm. Her arm gets dismembered. But Ami meets Miki, who is played by Asami, and her husband. They're mechanics, and they're also the parents of Ami's brother's friend, who, as I mentioned earlier, was also murdered by these ninja yakuzas. Um, but anyways, they help Ami out on her mission by giving her a machine gun arm to replace the arm that she lost. So it's a simple story, a simple story of revenge, of bloody revenge, with a lot of em emphasis on the blood. So when it comes to the positives of The Machine Girl, you know, first of all, I feel like this movie really hams it up to 11. Like, it really... You can tell it's not taking itself seriously, that a lot of it is comedy, a lot of it is meant to have fun with in a very kind of twisted way, especially if this is your first time watching this kind of movie. It is meant to be just a fun and bloody ride. So there's a lot of blood splatter and a lot of violence, but I think like it doesn't even really look realistic at some points. Like they, they utilize a lot of techniques which we usually see or typically see in tokusatsu, you know, like a Kamen Rider and stuff like that. When it comes to some of the special effects, special effects are actually really well done. They're, but it's kind of in a place where it's not exactly realistic looking, but at the same time, it's not exactly fake looking either. Like everything is done practically and if it's done pretty well and it really adds to the the hammy atmosphere as what I described earlier. And you can even feel from the opening credits, just the kind of tone and the kind of mindset you should be in, just in the opening credits. Like, it's just a lot of fun. Like, it feels like a very kind of rock star inspired Tarantino film at the very start. And it's action packed, you know, for a movie that focuses on a high school girl. And also, she partners up with a mom, a mechanic mom. There's a lot of kind of surprising action like that's in the story like and not just like typical action like if you if you're familiar with you know as I, I keep talking about tokusatsu but like you know you have your one versus many kinds of battle sequences fight sequences this movie features a number of them and you know you can kind of see the similarities between this and like a typical tokusatsu superhero fight scene I mean, after all, it's Ami and Miki versus Ninja Yakuza. And uh, Miki, I'm sorry, Ami has a machine gun arm and she's just blasting fools and they're exploding in blood and they're just, one, they just come one after the other. And it's just a lot of fun and a lot of violence. And they not only fight these Ninja Yakuza's, but they also fight parents of bullies or rather parents of some of these uh, folks, these kids who were involved with these Ninja Yakuza who Ami had encountered and also just laid out. And it gets really cheesy with some of these costumes, some of these character designs, and I absolutely love it. Like you have Ami who has a machine gun hand, and you have someone who with, uh, with a chainsaw leg too, you got someone with a drill bra. Even the Ninja Yakuza they meet, they wear track suits. It's hella funny. And the main bully who's responsible for the deaths of Ami's brother and his friend, you know, he's this, he's this, he's this high school kid, heir to the Yakuza family, and he walks around with a typical high school uniform and the big boss coat. It's just so hammy that it's ridiculous and awesome. And what makes it even more fun is just everything just ignores the laws of physics. You don't, you know, just chuck your brain out the door. Don't think about how everything works out in a physical sense or how it's supposed to make sense. Just have a lot of fun with this movie. And you know, when it comes to negatives of The Machine Girl, I really only have one thing to say is that as with many of other Iguchi's movies and also uh, Nishimura Yoshihiro, who did the special effects in this story, 
you know, it's not going to be for everyone. You know, as you can tell with my description, it's very bloody. Granted, it is a comedy in many ways, but it's also very bloody, very gory. So if you're not used to this kind of uh, imagery, then you either be turning it off in the, after the first 10 minutes or you'd be very intrigued and just keep on continuing. It's very brutal to the uninitiated, but it is also a very excellent movie to just get yourself introduced to this world and dive in. Overall, what to have to say about The Machine Girl, as you as you can tell by the numerous times I've said it, this movie is amazing. And you know everything about this, you know, as cheesy and hammy and ultraviolet and whatever this story is, everyone is 110% committed. No one ever, no one goes through, no one performs ha like half-assed. Everything just, com everyone just commits to the, make this story as entertaining as it can be. And the two leads, they're fantastic. You know, you wouldn't expect a high school girl and a mechanic mom to do some of the things that these characters do. But you know, is it me or am I the only one who's kind of weirded out by the fact that the actresses, Asami, who's supposed to be a mom, is actually a little bit younger than the main character uh, who plays the high school girl, you know? It weirds me out, but at the same time, you know, whatever. But anyways, yes, those are my thoughts on The Machine Girl. Definitely check it out. But let me know what you guys think. Please let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe. Follow me on all the socials. And if you really dig the content, feel free to hit that notification bell so you can get updated every time I upload a new video. And of course, check out my Patreon page, which you can find in the description area below. And yeah, that's about it for me, guys. And as always, everyone, thank you so much for watching. Hope to catch you all again in the next video. Take it easy.